What's going on? Welcome to a brand new video. So, a subscriber has asked me to eat the entire Greg's dessert menu. So let's head on to Just Eat, let's order some dessert, and let's give them a review. But I have already had a fair few of desserts from Greg's before. As you probably already know if you've seen any of my videos, I've done it a million times. So I have screen recorded some of the stuff that I've already tried, and I'm going to get some of the stuff in that I haven't recorded or done on YouTube yet. So let's get into that. So, the pink jammy donut. So, I'm not a massive jam donut fan, so I was already skeptical trying this, but it actually wasn't that bad. So, the dough was super fluffy, the icing was thin, but out of their nice, like, sweetness to it. And the jam on the inside was apple and raspberry as opposed to just like normal strawberry jam, which I really liked. It had like a little bit of a zing to it. It was much better than a regular jam donut, but I'm still not a massive fan. So, I'm gonna give it like a 6.5 out of 10. We have a box of two yum yums. Let's open this up. And of course, the close up. So we have the yum yum and it's looking glazed. Let's try. So yeah, that is super soft, really, really tasty. There's loads of glaze on that. So much sugar, which is what you want in a yum yum. But yeah, it's absolutely fine. Like it's, it's a good yum yum. They're just quite bland on their own. So I'm going to give it like a 6.5 out of 10. So, hot milk chocolate cookies. These are unbelievable. I've had them a million times. So the cookie is softer than a normal cookie, but it's slightly more cooked than a cookie dough. And the caramel pot that you get is like the inside of a Rolo. It's quite a thick dip as opposed to normally they're quite runny. I like that it's a little bit thicker, gives it a little bit more texture, more flavour. And like when you dip it in and it just strings up and you try it, it's so good. So you get the chocolatey cookie and it isn't dry, which sometimes the cookies from Greg's can be. With the caramel dip, sensational. Easy, easy. 9 out of 10. So, the triple chocolate cookies. So, I haven't had this for a long time, but I do remember that I did enjoy it the most out of all the cookies from Greg's I already have. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, it was super tasty. So, it isn't as dry as some of the other ones can be. Loads of chocolatey flavour, as you would anticipate from a triple chocolate cookie. But yeah, it was pretty decent, to be fair. I did enjoy it. However, in the recent video where I did the Dixon's versus Greg's one, the Dixon's cookie is better. So, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. So, a glazed ring donut. Obviously, it is a very like simple dessert, not a massive amount to it. I always put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds, go super soft, and the sugar like melts on the top as well, and it's really, really gooey and really tasty. Um, yeah, it is pretty decent, but as I said, it is a simple dessert. So, I'm going to give it like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. It's nice what it is. So, the caramel shortbread, bleh, shortbread from Greg's. It's like, okay, it's not the best caramel shortbread I've ever had. The caramel itself is very good. Lots of flavour, super tasty. The chocolate isn't too thick either. It is nice. It's like a creamy milk chocolate, which is good. The shortbread is where I let it down. It's not super buttery. It's not super crumbly. I've just had a much better shortbread before. So, I mean, I would never go out and buy them. I just think they're just fine. So, I'd give them like a 5 out of 10. So, a triple chocolate muffin. So, it's really good. So, you get the chocolate chunks, which are really tasty. And obviously, you get a chocolate muffin. Then, you get the chocolate sauce inside the muffin. And they are really good. Sometimes, they can be a tad dry, though, because I don't know if they just over-bake it or what happens there. Um, so, but mostly, it is really good. So, I'm going to give it, like, an 8 out of 10. But it can be dry, which is why I'm a little sceptical of that. Two pink sugar strand donuts. Let's do the close-up. So, pink sugar strand donut, let's go. Mm. Super spongy, really, really tasty. Just the correct amount of icing, not too much. It's still like liquidy, it's not like hard or crunchy. But they do get some like crunch from the sugar, a um, thousand pieces. Yeah, it's decent. I would prefer if it was chocolate, but still good. A decent 7 out of 10 that I Let's do the zoom in. This one looks like the best one. Let's do the taste test. It's 
so you get like a massive smack in the face of vanilla that's super tasty then it's really crumbly the white chocolate is really really nice as well comes through one thing i will say is it's tiny tiny bit ever so dry uh, but the flavor is on point if it was just a little bit softer it would be perfect so i'm gonna give it like an 8 out of 10 just because it's a little bit dry but it's very good so the star biscuit so this is like a standard like such a good biscuit so you get the chocolate on the outside super Super creamy, nice chocolate, really good shortbread on the inside. Then you get the little like crunchy sprinkles just for a bit of added like texture. It's a very good biscuit. I'll give it a solid eight out of ten. So Greg's gingerbread is decent to be fair, but I do prefer a soft baked gingerbread. And gingerbread from Greg's is like a proper like snap to it. The flavour though is very good. I like the little smarties as well. So it is decent. I just wish it was softer. So seven out of ten. So up next is a donut that I really am not looking forward to. So it's like a triple chocolate donut with like cream inside. I'm not a big fan on cream in general, so I'm not looking forward to this. Let's try it anyway. No, it's not for me. I'm just not a big cream fan. As you can see, there's like cream inside there. It's okay. It's not gonna it doesn't blow my socks off. The chocolate on the top's quite nice. Um, just the cream inside lets it down. So if you like cream, you probably like this, but I don't. So I'm gonna give it like a four out of ten. So the caramel custard donut. I know I love this. I've had this before, but I couldn't find any clips where I tried this before. So let's have it. The caramel glaze is so good. The donut is really soft. But where is my custard, is the question. Literally, where is my custard? Oh, it's literally all at the back. So not at the front, or at the back. Not the best. I absolutely love these. They're like a solid 8 out of 10 for me. You can't beat a good like, creamy custard, caramel, donut. So the milk chocolate cookies, I've had a fair few times and you already see me eat in this video when it was warmed up. It is the same as the white chocolate one. It's good but it is a little bit dry and there are better cookies out there. But it's pretty decent, vanilla, chocolatey, it's alright. So I'll give it like a 7, 8 out of 10. So the jam donuts, didn't even see the point of buying them. I have tried them before, I just absolutely despise them. So there's literally no point in me buying it to take a bite and say that I don't like them. I don't like the jam inside the donut. The texture for me is too disgusting. I just kind of get away with it. So it's a zero out of ten. I actually hate them. So the novelty bun is unbelievable. They do it for like every season. They do it just normally as well. It's so good. So you get like the like runny icing on the top you get the crunch from the sugary bits and then the soft super soft like it melts in your mouth vanilla novelty bun is sensational nine out of ten i absolutely love them so that is the end of the video now i know this is a bit of like an all over the place one screen recorded film so I'm a bit crazy but i hope you guys still enjoyed it anyway if you did please hit that sub and like button take care stay safe see you guys in the next video bye